Hey, what's going on, RC Jarvis? Welcome back to the channel. On the bench here today is kind of one of those hidden gems in the crawl world. G-Mate has been around for a while and they make some really great kits, really fun kits, and they don't get the exposure that they should. And that's why I'm kind of calling it one of those hidden gems because this truck right here is a lot of fun to build. And if it's anything like the Buffalo TS behind me that we've already reviewed here on the channel, I know it's gonna be a fun driving experience as well. So it's taken me a little while to build this thing up. Uh, the G-Made kits, they are a lot of fun to build. They have some really good instruction manuals. However, they use a lot of different types of hardware throughout the kit. And because of that, it does take a while. And sometimes what I like to do behind the scenes here on the channel is just build kits up over time, kind of enjoy it and you know finally get to show it to you guys. And this is one of those kits where it took a while to get together. You have to build everything up. I mean, and like I said, there's just tons of different hardware that you have to spread out all over your workbench and, uh, you know, hunt down what you need for each step. You also have to paint up the body, install all the electronics, get all the electronics. It's a true builder's kit. And if you like building, this is one I highly suggest you check out. And I, in fact, I did a video on kits that you should check out and the TS behind me again was in that video, it was really an enjoyable build, but the truck itself also handles really well. I'm getting too far off track here. Let's start talking about some of the details of the pickup truck kit that make it different uh, from the TS that we've already reviewed. And obviously number one is the pickup truck body. It's not a licensed body. It's kind of got the square body Chevy look to it. Uh, it looks pretty good. The sides do look a little tall to me. I don't know. The look of the sides seem to fit a little bit better on the full body version, but this one still looks great. I chose to me a cobalt green to paint it in. I, I don't know. I asked you guys on Instagram what color I should paint it. A lot of people had suggestions, but uh, when I sat down to paint it, I wasn't sure what to do still. And I looked at the Tamiya paint rack and said, you know what? That odd looking green right there is what I'm gonna paint it. That's what I did. It, I think it came out pretty good actually. And then I used the decals that came with it to just add a, a little stripe to the back of the bed just to give it a, a little something extra to look at. Uh, but they give you decals for the taillights, some decals for the name badges, uh, some G-Made decals, and even window trim decals. So there's plenty of stuff to go in, you know, give the truck the look you want right out of the box. You just, again, have to pick out a color. Did spray the bed black as well. Now, on top of the body, we've got this pretty cool looking roof rack, maybe a tad oversized. Uh, I like the light bar up front. They do a great job with the lenses on their light bars. Uh, love the depth of those. And uh, of course, up front here, we've got a light bar in the bumper. I'll talk about that in a second. But the fender flares, those are separate molded pieces, separate windshield wipers, mirrors, door handles, a pretty great looking body. Kind of wish that they included LED lights with it, but um, I'll have to go and get those separate, I guess. Now onto the bumpers on here, pretty much the same bumpers as you know what we saw before. On the previous truck that we reviewed, you can go ahead and uh, install LED lights in there. Even in the rear, they give you light buckets that you could two side tape to the back of the body, uh, lenses in the bumper, uh, light bar in the bumper, as I mentioned, uh, hooks. So you can go and mount some shackles if you want to later on down the road. The grill does come chrome. I went and sprayed it with the uh, rubberized undercoating actually. Gave it a little bit of texture. I thought it looked pretty cool. Wanted to try it out. And I think it actually works pretty well with this body. But the other thing you probably notice is it doesn't have any body mounts. Definitely like that. Uh, the body mounts are attached to the front grill and it goes down into the bumper and the rear just slides in uh, to, the, to the back chassis mount. So great looking body, uh, backed mine with black. And as you can see, they even have red O-rings to go and put between the plastic parts in the body uh, so they don't rattle around. Uh, definitely like that. And now we can take a look at the chassis and it probably looks really familiar to the TS and that's because it is. It's pretty Pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to go over some highlights here, uh, some stuff that you should really know about this. If you want to know more details, I'll put a card up above so you can check out the review of the TS because that has a ton of information in it. But uh, what I really like on this, we've got a steel ladder frame. There is a little bit of flex to it. Uh, you know, the cross bracing on here is kind of just your standard nylon type plastic. So there, there's some flex to it. 
but uh, this is a scale rig. I'm just gonna be crawling down trails with this thing, so I'm not too worried about the flex myself. Uh, inner fender wells, really nice sturdy shock hoops on this. Uh, aluminum shocks, oil-filled aluminum shocks, really good looking shock. I haven't had the others leak yet on, on the truck I've been driving. Uh, really good feel to the shocks. Aluminum links for the suspension, a four link in the rear, three link with a pan hard bar in the front. And they do go and give you some bonus parts with this kit, which was really good. The ball studs are all metal in here where the other version, uh, most of them were plastic. So I like the, the metal ball studs. Uh, again, the suspension pretty stout and uh, let's move on to the drivetrain here. So we've got a forward mounted transmission, slipper clutch in there. Uh, and then that goes down to this transfer case. And we actually have overdrive in here. And that is one feature that I missed in the other review that I really should have pointed out. This has overdrive from the factory, which will allow the front of this truck to pull itself up and over rocks. Just a really good feature to have in any crawler nowadays. Uh, moving down to the axles, uh, I really like the axles on here. There is not a lot to hang up on. And uh, this kit actually has chrome diff cover plates. So uh, you know, it gives it a little bit better of a look than the previous truck that we reviewed. And it, it was a cast cover on there as well, but I really like the shiny look of these. Uh, we've got universal axles in the front, CV style universal axles, slider shafts in the center. And as you would expect, we got ball bearings throughout and steel gear. So a really robust drive line. Onto the steering really quick, just you know your standard steering links. The uh, steering knuckles are really bulky, so I don't see those breaking. And especially if you're just driving around trails, that shouldn't be a, a, an issue to deal with either. Uh, one change is at the four corners. So we have new tires on here. The wheels are still the, the black hole style, uh, this time with silver hardware on there, but we have these new almost super swamper like tires, a little bit smaller of a diameter than the tires that we saw on the, the full body TS. And uh, I kind of like them. I, I really liked how the other truck looked as far as filling out the fender wells. Uh, but this kind of looks like a bit of a mudding type truck to me. And maybe these super swamper tires are actually gonna work really well. And we'll see. I'm really excited to go out and, and drive this one after I had such a great experience with the other truck. Let me just finish things off with the electronics. Uh, first up, the battery tray here. The battery sits towards the front and you could go and adjust the battery tray for shorty packs or standard style packs. Uh, I did go with a Holmes Hobby power system in here. I have one of his 540 Trailmaster motors, BRXL speed controller. For servos, I went with high tech. I have their 645 MG for the shift servo. Uh, again, you know, this has a two speed. I, I totally forgot to tell you guys that before, but another bonus feature for the transmission. And then for the steering, I have the 7950TH. So that should give me plenty of torque. And I'm just going to use uh, a spectrum radio system to, to run this thing in a max amp lipo battery pack but uh this is again a really fun build you've either got a great showpiece or an awesome scale rig or a fun truck to go and drive i'm gonna head over to some trails and show you guys how this thing handles the terrain
Well, I said it before and I'll say it again here, the GMA Buffalo is one of those gems in the RC crawling world. This kit is a lot of fun to build up, a little challenging, but it backs it up with some really capable performance. I had a great time driving it over at the test site. I mean, the way this thing is set up out of the box, it doesn't really need a lot of changes. You just need to equip it with the right electronics. You're gonna easily see what this thing could do right out of the box. I mean, when I was crawling some of that rough terrain there, those really steep inclines, the overdrive really took over and allowed this thing to crawl up with ease. And then what I really liked is when I transitioned into a turn, uh, the overdrive actually creates a little bit of drag in the rear of the truck. So I was able to pivot around some tight corners that coupled with the amount of steering this thing has, I mean, you could really get through some gnarly terrain, you know, with ease on this truck. And uh, it's not as top heavy as the full body version. It's still a little heavy. I, I noticed a little tip here and there when I was side hilling. Uh, but overall, I felt really in control of this rig and really liked the way it works. Uh, just to break things down a little bit you know, more, as far as the steering goes, uh, it's got some serious throw, lock to lock on this thing. No binding from the drive shafts. Uh, so when you are you know, making your turns, this thing turns really, really tight. And if you have a nice high torque servo in there, you're just gonna obliterate any terrain that's in front of you. Uh, the articulation is really good on this truck. It will get all twisted up over the rocks, but keep the wheels down. Uh, no real sign of torque twist on here. Uh, no real sign of bump either. These tires do not move when the uh, front suspension is compressed. When I was crawling up really steep face, is it gets pretty vertical before it wants to tip over backwards. And uh, if you add a little bit of weight up front, I think it will help plant this truck even more. That's true with a lot of stock out of the box rigs. If you just add a little bit of weight to it, uh, it will really help it out. But I think this will benefit from it even more and, and really surprise you with what it could do. Again, the, the transmission on here is, is really awesome. The two speed has a nice wide gap between the gearing on it. So when you're low, it's a nice slow crawl. Uh, but when you flip that over to the high speed gear, this thing really, really moves. And I've got a Holmes Hobby system in here. I will put links to everything in the description below that I used. Uh, but the Holmes Hobby system, actually with the Helios 3S pack, I started with a Maxiums 2S pack, wanted a bit more power, I put the Helios 3S pack in there. And, and man, the power was just awesome. It was just awesome to rip down the trails when I wanted to, or you know, when I needed to blip over some rocks to, to clear a ledge or something like that, the power from it was awesome. And the, and the drivetrain just laid down the power that was really easy to use and, and manage. So this is a really cool truck. I actually really liked the tires as well. I didn't have any mudding to do. It was a 37 degree day out when I was driving it. So even the, the tires in the cold weather gripped fairly well in those cold conditions. And uh, the only issue I have is I scratched up this body. I scratched it pretty hard. There's actually some paint that's about to chip off of it. Uh, that's how far I challenged it. It went over some ledges because uh, I was just really pushing this thing because I, I was enjoying it so much and uh, took some really hard tumbles with it, but no broken parts, just, you know, body scratches. And, and that's part of the business here. So uh, the G-Made Buffalo pickup truck is a blast. Let me know what you think of G-Made. Their brand's certainly worth knowing about and uh, just want to know what you guys think of it. Uh, would you add one of these to your collection? How would you equip it? Let me know in the comment section below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like. We'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.